It's time for the Nebraska Football Coaches Show. Proudly brought to you by Channel. Channel Seedsman place product to perform across Nebraska. Get expert advice that yields results at channel.com. Heinrich going to step and back. Little G belly action. There's a man wide open. It's Jalen Lloyd. The throw. He makes a catch. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. The throw is card. Being rushed. Steps, throws. Intercepted. Tommy Hill with a pick at the 30. Tommy goes down to a knee at the 29 yard line. His second INT of the game. The third of the season for number 31. Sullivan gets the snap back to throw. Pumps. Gets rushed. Gets hit. Throws down. Then a sack. Pulled down again by Nash, his second sack of the game, all the way back at the 30-yard line. Motion to the near side, they hand it off to Emmett Johnson. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Emmett Johnson's first career Husker rushing touchdown. It's now 30 to 14. Here's your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our football coaches show for the week, this short week for the Cornhuskers as they get set to host the Iowa Hawkeyes in the annual Heroes game on Friday at 11 a.m. A little early start for that one for the Big Red. Nebraska coming off that heartbreaking game Saturday night in Madison, dropping an overtime game to the, the Badgers 24-17. to Defensive line coach Terrence Knighton is going to be with us for the full hour tonight. If you want to get a, a comment or question to Coach Knighton, our text line is open and available for you at 402-413-2400. So fire off some texts. And we'll get them. The Huskers got some huge news today in a lot of ways. Uh, as Ty Robinson met with the media today and said that he is going to take advantage of his COVID year and come back next year. It would be his sixth year in college. And I'm sure Coach Knighton, who did, uh, did tweet out a, a funny gif earlier today, uh, had to really like that news uh, that Big Ty was going to come back and, and play for the Cornhuskers for one more year. So... A little bit surprised I was. We'll see what the coach has to say about that uh, here in just a few minutes when we talk about getting big number nine to come back for another year. And, boy, that's, that's like getting just a huge recruiting win here as we get ready to hit the, the height of recruiting season. We're about a month away. We're inside of a month, by the way, uh, from the signing day. The national signing day is on the 20th of December. What will happen for the Husker coaches is they'll coach this game with Iowa on Friday and then Monday uh, hit the road. They'll be out and about, probably a lot of them scattering across the country to go visit high schools, visit young men who have committed to Nebraska or young men that Nebraska is still in on. This Husker staff did such a tremendous job in the spring and summer planting the seeds for this recruiting class. They already have 25, 26 commitments for the upcoming class. Again, most of them will sign on December the 20th. But you got to kind of stay after these guys. You're going to have to stay after them and make sure they're solid in their commitment to you. There will be, there always are, there will be twists and turns in the recruiting game between now and December the 20th you know, with guys who maybe have, uh, will back out of the commitment and go somewhere else. And other guys who are maybe committed to other schools may back out and come to Nebraska. So it kind of works both ways. But it will be a busy couple weeks for the staff. And hopefully the staff is also mixing in bowl prep. Uh, that's the hope. That's the plan. That's the, the, uh, the desire for everybody to uh, get uh, a bowl-eligible victory on Friday against Iowa and then have to get ready for some postseason play coming up in December uh, between the week between Christmas and New Year's. So hopefully that's the plan. But it'll be a busy month for the coaches. And then you add into the mix the uh, transfer portal, which starts on December the 4th, is when the portal opens up for about a 30-day period of time. That even makes it uh, that much more uh, uh, interesting time in the lives of these coaches coming up in the month of December. But uh, Coach Knight joins us now. It's our last football show for the season. We saved the best for last. Give the people Coach. what they want. Give the people what they want. How are you? I'm doing great. You had a good day today. Great day. Great news. Uh, Tell me, I'm sure you've had numerous conversations with Ty about where he wanted to go. Take me through all of that. What was that like? Well, honestly, it's been a you know, a decision that he's been trying to make the whole year. Um, obviously, coming off of surgery, didn't do spring ball, um, didn't do the off-season workout. So um, you heard him mention in his interview, like, right now, you know, where he is body-wise, he's about, like, week three, week four, compared to other guys who, you know, did all the spring ball and those type of things. So he's just starting to get into a good rhythm. And you can tell by his play the past few weeks that he's finally comfortable where he is. And um, he's a guy... 
you know, I'm not surprised by his decision because he wants to be perfect in everything he does, and he wants to make sure that he's ready for the next level and wants to be a dominant player, you know, wherever he's playing. So, um, you know, it's a tribute to him to want to come back and, you know, believing in Coach Rule, believing in Coach White, and believing in myself that we can get him to where he wants to be as a professional. How's he been as kind of a mentor to some of these young guys, the Lenharts, the Prince Wells, the Rileys? How's he been in that, helping those guys learn how to play in this le- at this level? Yeah, and I think, you know, for me, at times, that's more important sometimes than who the coach is as far as who you have as a leadership, as far as who you have as leadership in the room. And um, for him to be a guy who's played a lot of football and to see how hard he works, how hard he prepares, um, whenever I go into the D-line room, he's always in there watching film and bringing young guys with him. So, you know, uh, their progress, you know, is a tribute to him and the rest of the leaders in the room. I'll, you know, how quickly they've been able to adjust to the college football speed and, you know, the physicality of the Big Ten and those type of things. And, um, you know, they were excited he's coming back. And, um, you know, obviously he believes in the process and what Coach Rule is preaching. And, you know, he wants to be a part of the turnaround. I was just talking to the folks about how we're about to jump into recruiting season, signing days in less than a month. This is like getting a big signing to get him back for one more year, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like we got a five-star yeah. Out of the portal, <laughs> right. right? So, you know, we got a, we got a one-year rental with Ty, but no, he, it's, it's, it's awesome, man. And like I said, his leadership and um, just a guy who believes in the system and, you know, believes in the coaching and, um, you know, having those big, those big guys come back, him and Nash in the middle, man, it's, it's obviously a, a testament to what Coach Rule has done and those guys believing in it. All right, you mentioned Nash. Talk about the season that he has had. And how much growth have you seen in Nash's play since you got on campus about a year ago? I think with Nash is just the more football he's played, the better he gets. And, um, you know, he was a rotational guy last year. And, you know, we put the crown in his ha- on his head this year. And he's been able to go out there and, you know, wearing the number zero, being the nose tackle and being in the middle of the defense. You know, he's taken that and run with it. And, um, you know, his leadership has picked up in the room. Um, you know, like I said before in the past, you know, him being a big guy, you think he's a big two gapper, but he's shown his athleticism, you know, having four or five sacks this year so far, showing that he's versatile and can do different things. Um, and he's starting to grow more belief in himself. And, um, you know, he's a guy when I first got here, I told him, I was like, hey, you're a pro. And, you know, he's taking that and run with it. And he truly believes that now. How much pride? You have to have a lot of pride in seeing those, both he and Ty getting those single digit numbers. Yeah, man, I was excited, and I, I, I knew it was coming for Nash, and I was praying that he would get zero. I was like, it'd be nothing better than the biggest guy in the room wearing zero <laughs> and running out there and being a zero technique. And, um, you know, it just, it just goes to show that their teammates believe in them because that was something the players decided, and their teammates believe in them. And, um, you know, with that, you know, comes more responsibility. And I always tell those guys with great, with great ability requires great responsibility. So those guys take that to heart. What's your room like? You and I talked about this in June. Uh, just take us, what's the personality of the group when you just get them, it's just you and them. It's not the entire defense or the entire team. It's just your room. Our room is like the barbershop. You know, it's like the barbershop slash man cave. Um, we have a great time in there. We have a lot of great personalities in the room. We tell a lot of great stories that can't leave the room. Um, the guys are just comfortable being around each other. And, um, you know, that's the type of environment I wanted to create in the room where, you know, we're all honest with each other, we're all hard on each other. But when it comes to football, it's a no-nonsense thing. But, um, you know, I want them very comfortable with being themselves and being comfortable around each other, you know, because guys come from different places. And uh, everyone, you know, during camp got up and spoke about their story, where they came from. And I think that brought our group closer together. A few weeks ago, I think you guys went to an escape room. What yes. was that like? It was awesome because my group won, right? So um, it was, we do a lot of different things, you know, to build that brotherhood. And uh, we separated the room into three teams. So everyone was yapping back and forth about who's smarter, who's going to figure it out, who has a better strategy. And they obviously still haven't learned that, you know, I'm going to win no matter what. But uh, and it's funny because our group had the hardest room. So um, it was actually Herbix. He was the captain of the team, and he picked the team. And I was actually like a third-round pick. But, um, you know, our team was victorious, and uh, I think Nash's team is still trying to figure out how to get out of there because they didn't finish yet. So They didn't finish? They didn't finish. Because they give you a certain time, right? They give you, yeah, he had 60 minutes. Our group won by, like, 10 seconds, 
and Nash's group is still, I think they're still trapped in the room, so we got to go No, I it saw out. them Saturday. They're, okay. They're out. They, they, finally, they finally got out. Uh, boy, Saturday was tough, right? I mean, I, I could just sense when I came in the locker room after the game, I could just sense the pain. I know everybody puts so much into that game, and those are the ones that hurt the most, don't they? Absolutely, and, you know, you feel bad for the players because you see how much work they put into it, and you see the team changing, and they're starting to understand, like, why we're losing the games and the things that we have to do differently. But the great part about it is they came in the next day ready, like, hey, coach, what do we got to do to beat Iowa? So that's the big thing right now. And you've heard them all season and coach talking about what's next and having the what's next mentality. And um, I think that allows us to go out each week and have a chance to win is the fact that we focused on who we have to focus on and we worry about going 1-0. We can't worry about last week or a future opponent. Right now it's all about being Iowa, and that's the most important thing in the building. You mentioned Nash's sacks. Jamari's done a great job in that category as well. I know he's bounced from the jack position up to, to being up with your group in there. Tell me about the season that Jamari's had. Well, Jamari, he's a super talented kid. He's very smart. Um, he can line up anywhere on the D-line because he's strong enough to do it, quick enough to do it. Um, and the, I think the biggest thing with him was the personality that he brought to our room. He... he he brings a ruggedness, a different type of mentality than Ty and Nash, and um, it's rubbed off with the room, and he's comfortable in the room. He's comfortable playing with his hand in the dirt, and you can tell by how he's playing. He's playing fast. He's confident right now, and obviously when you got guys like Cam Linhart in the room and Chief Borders and those other guys, they push, you know, it pushes the room competition-wise, so all those guys go out there and compete. But Jamari's just added a whole different element to our room where – you know, you don't know whether to count him as a linebacker or a D lineman because he's so versatile and he brings a, a different type of ruggedness and toughness to our room. Contact folks, 811, two days before you dig to protect your underground utilities and yourself. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. Terrence Knight with us for the full hour. It's our final football show during the regular season for Husker football. We, we're we going to have one in the postseason too, so we'll, we'll just uh, plan on that That's coming right. up in, in December. You had, you mentioned Cam. You had Cam in the spring. You had Prince Will in the, in the spring. You did not have Riley in right. the spring, and yet there he is playing early in the season. That's impressive that a guy got here and wasn't part of all those workouts in the spring. Mm -hmm. How did he do it? Well, honestly, it's his preparation, right? It's his family, the way they've done things. Um, he comes from a great family. And when I first met him and went to his home, I looked at him. I said, oh, this kid's going to be ready. You know what I mean? So his body was ready. He had the right mentality. He had the right work ethic. And the first day he came in, he knew the playbook. Um, and that's the, that's the easiest way to get on the field as a freshman and know what to do, right? And that's where a lot of guys separate themselves as a freshman. And that's one thing he did. He came in, had a great body weight, um, came in in shape, and knew the playbook. So it was easy for him to transition and do that. You just got to be licking your chops thinking about that you get him and Prince Well and Cam for – couple more years yeah and it's funny because all those guys are like different type of players but you know I just take pride in just you know not trying to make everyone the same and I allow them to be themselves and just try to teach them how to be the best cam he can be and the best Prince Will he can be and um you know that that group has grown closer and closer and that freshman class is going to be a special group and you know I always sometimes at practice I look out there and I'm like man there's three freshmen out there and then you know one day they're all going to be grown men so it's going to happen fast, but I'm, I'm proud of the progress they've made. And, and Terrence, I, Coach Rule has said several times, he goes, we got some guys on the D-line you're not, none of you are seeing yet because mm -hmm. they're redshirt and they're sitting out this year. you got some depth. Absolutely. you got Sua. you got Vincent Carroll. you got Leslie Black. you got Connor. we got a bunch of young guys, Kai Wallen, and obviously James, who, you know, popped up on the radar that we've seen. It's just got a lot of young guys right now just working, 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 waiting to get their opportunity. And uh, they get to go against our offensive line each week, and it's a physical practice. And, um, you know, those guys are up watching film. They're watching the opponent as if they're playing. And, like I said, that's just, you know, the culture that Coach Rule has, you know, instilled in the program. And um, just seeing guys like Ty and Nash do those things, those young guys just follow everything they do. But we got a lot of depth. And the one thing I tell those young guys, I say, hey, once the season's over, there's no more depth charts. So it's back to competition. And, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys change their bodies over the offseason. I was going to ask you, how do you keep those guys motivated that aren't playing right now? How, how, how do you, I mean, sure, do you pull them aside every now and then and go, hey, I'm keeping my eye on you, keep, keep putting in the work? Honestly, I, it goes back to the leadership in the room. It's a standard that we have. It's a standard that Coach Rule has. And 
those are, you know, he does, a, he does a good job of talking about, like, you know, having guys that have red shirted and then coming in there next year and being starters, right? So, you know, it's a process that we believe in, and, you know, they understand that they're helping the team right now with what they're doing, so they take that very serious. So we have a lot of good young guys that are level-headed and understand that they're helping the team, and uh, they're just waiting for their shot. Very good. I see some texts coming in. We'll get to those in the next segment. If you want to uh, fire a question that, for me to pass on to Coach Knight in 402, 413-2400. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. A lot more with Coach Knighton coming up. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. would like to remind you if you haven't already to unhook your outdoor hoses and check faucets for leaks so your pipes don't freeze. As the official plumber of the Huskers, you know who to call when a plumbing issue arises. From frozen pipes to clogged drains, we can help you protect your home this winter. Give John Henry's a call today to schedule at 435 John Henry's Plumbing. Hi, I'm a volleyball it's an okay life. I go back and forth about it. But I really wish I was a Nebraska Lottery Powerball or Mega Millions Mega Ball. See, all they have to do is mix around in a big plastic bubble and roll down a ramp, and then people win millions. What a great life. As for me, I get thrown around all day and have to worry about getting spiked, which is about to happen right now. Oh, ow! Couldn't you just do a nice, gentle tip? The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. Woodhouse Nissan offers a convenient and streamlined way to purchase your next vehicle from home. Browse our full lineup online and have your test drive delivered to you. Right now, lease a 2023 Nissan Rogue S for $349 a month for 36 months and 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, tax title, and license extra, $2,500 down plus first payment and $299 doggy due at sign-in. Discounted price based on a sale price of $30,069. Bin number PC910913. Offer expires November 30th, 2023. See dealer for details. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. Cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at CenexHometownThrowdown.com. Cenex, powered locally. Love is all around during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. By the end of this, our 16th year, Subaru and retailers like us will have donated over $285 million to charities such as the ASPCA, Make-A-Wish, Mills on Wheels America, and the National Park Foundation. Duto Subaru is proud to support Make-A-Wish Nebraska during the Subaru Share the Love event. Visit Duto Subaru, located at 2750 Jamie Lane in Lincoln, or online at dutosubaru.com for more details. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. 
Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for three or seven months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for three or seven months with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier Checking Account. Give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. If your furnace could have roamed with the dinosaurs and is a furnasaurus, listen up. John Henry's is giving away a new furnace completely free. To enter, go to jhlincoln.com right now and enter to win. If you think yours is the oldest furnace in town, enter by November 26th at jhlincoln.com or give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Hey Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 Initiative now represents 150 Husker student athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. The polar bear. Nebraska defensive lineman Nash Hutmaker knows who to call when your house is cold enough for hibernation. SOS to the rescue! Nebraska defensive lineman Nash Hutmaker here. People know me as the polar bear. Don't be like me in the winter and call SOS. Their texts don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition. Guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10-year labor warranty. Best warranty in town. SOS to the rescue. 402-391-2336. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealers, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Terrence Knight with us, our final regular season football show of the week. Huskers set to take on the Iowa Hawkeyes Friday at 11 a.m. here at Memorial Stadium. I want to ask you about the sack man, James Williams. <laughs> All of a sudden, Coach, I don't even remember what game it was. I'm like, Who's 90? Where, where, where did this 90 guy come from? He's making plays all over the field. You guys were holding him back. Right. Yeah, James James came to the camp. We had two D linemen there. Um, this summer? Yes, this summer. He was, the, he was at the post-grad, and we had two guys. We worked him out. He tested well. We put him through the drills. I'm like, Coach, this guy got something. And Coach Rule had came over and watched him. You know, he's a D line guy. Came over and watched him and said, hey, let's get more information on him and you know you know he qualified he was ready to go and he started off in camp and we knew he had the ability to rush the passer and you kind of at times think like okay this is not like you know he keeps getting sacks in practice keep getting sacks in practice you're like all right one day we're going to give him a shot and we gave him a shot and he ran with it and um you know one thing i learned and evan cooper mentioned all the time he was like you know t night guys that get sacks just know how to get sacks man and um, he's a guy that I think, like, in high school had, like, over 25 sacks or something like that. And, um, you know, he has opportunity. He showed what he can do. And, you know, we just decided that, you know, he's a guy that, you know, is going to get bigger, faster, stronger. And, you know, and one day when we're hoist hoisting that trophy, he's going to be a 270-pound senior first-round draft pick one day. And, um, you know, you know, he believes in the process. And, you know, we know we're going to get from him. And, you know, we're excited about his future. Yeah, Coach mentioned yesterday he's at the four-game limit. You're going to go ahead and put the red shirt on him for the rest mm -hmm. of the year. And you can see there's, there's, that frame will hold more weight, won't it? It looks like he's pretty thin now. He'll be able to bulk up. Absolutely. And he gets to see other guys like Kai Wallen, who got here and was 220 pounds. And you look at Kai now, he's walking around 260 and ready to go. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of competition next year for those DNs. And, you know, it's going to be an interesting offseason to see who – you know, takes that next step. All right, Andrew says, uh, Coach, we appeared to get really good pressure against Wisconsin from our front, but had a hard time getting that quarterback to the ground. Was he just that good? What your thoughts about trying to cover up that quarterback last Saturday? Well, he, he, he's a veteran quarterback. He's savvy in the pocket. Um, you know, having a young group and an experienced group, they have to understand that when you're going against quarterbacks like that, you got to shoot your shot. And at times, guys are just too careful, not wanting to get out of the pocket. But uh, he's a, he was a great athlete, and like I say, he was an older guy, you know, seen a lot of football, understands how to move around the pocket, and, 
you know, he did a great job, but, uh, you know, it's one thing, you know, it's one of the things that this year our guys will learn from and that we'll definitely improve on and um, you'll see a lot better results in that moving forward. And, and Tonga Vailoa is a little bit similar to that the week before, a veteran guy that kind of knows how to move his, around in the pocket. Correct, and it's something, you know, we'll definitely uh, watch during the off season and make sure we get better at because that's college football now. You know, you don't, you don't have any more Peyton Manners and Tom Brady's who, you know, stand in the pocket and, you know, do those type of things. You know, everybody has athletes at quarterback, so it's definitely something we look to improve on. Andrew, thanks for the uh, the text. John in Omaha for you, Coach. While listening to the Kate for the Cadence, can you explain what kind of communication also goes on between the line? Thanks and good luck on Friday. Go Big Red. Well, for us, we, we try we key the ball. These quarterbacks are real savvy. They can clap. They can do fake cadences. The offensive line can do fake cadences. So we just key the ball and, you know, keep it simple. And, um, you know, at times you can get a jump on certain guys. You can pick up on cadences. But, you know, offices are so good now, and the quarterbacks are really crafty. And, um, you know, they're smart, and they understand the, the best way to be successful in offense is to slow down the front. So we get different cadences and different – different things each week. So we just got to key the ball and, you know, let that handle itself. How much the noises for your side of the football is bigger here? And you want it to be, right? You mm -hmm. want the, the home crowd to make the noise for the offense. Do you talk to your guys at all about trying to slow down, guys? I know you want to rev up and go after them, but we got to keep stay disciplined. No, honestly, I don't slow them down. Go. We're, we're downhill. And, um, you know, coach will probably get on me for saying this, but a lot of great passers jump offside sometimes. Sometimes they try to get the jump. But I want our guys to be aggressive up front. I want them to play downhill. We, you know, we play, the, we play the run on the way to the quarterback. That's our mindset. So we're super aggressive, and I never want to slow down the front. Very good. Seatbelt use saves lives and prevents injuries. Nearly 15,000 lives saved per year. Buckle up. This message from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Andy in our YouTube chat room. You'll like this one. Wants to know your favorite Thanksgiving dish. Mom's mac and cheese. Mom's <laughs> mac and cheese. That's easy. Um, shout out to mom. Um, best mac and cheese in the world. There's a lot of good mac and cheese out there, but just something about mom's mac and cheese. And, you know, she usually makes a big pan for the family, and I usually get my own pan. And, you know, it's just something special we share. So, you know, looking forward to mom's mac and cheese. And you don't sure. even know what's all in it. Nope, I don't need to know. I know how it tastes. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, uh, another text question for you. Coach, can you give us an update on Sua and Jason? So Jason has moved to the offensive line. You lost him. Lost him to the offensive line. And he was obviously a guy that when we were recruiting, we knew he had the ability to play both. And, you know, losing a lot of older guys on the offensive line compared to the D-line, you know, he's going to help us on that side. And he, he was open to it, and he's excited about it. He's going to be a great player. And Sua is the same way. He's, I mean, we didn't lose him to the O-line, but, you know, he's a young guy um, who's played a little bit this year, so he understands what it's going to take for him this offseason. But Sua's going to be a heck of a player. He's twitchy. He can rush the pass rusher naturally. Um, but he's going he's gonna to change his body this offseason, get stronger, you know, get comfortable with the game, and, you know, hopefully get him out of his little shy shell because he's a, He's a laid-back, quiet guy, and, you know, I want to be a little bit more boisterous like his position coach. So. <laughs> Very good. Jeff in Omaha for you. Hey, Coach, does your group spend more time working on your own game during a game week or watching opponent film preparing for that week's offense? Oh, uh, we have this saying. We say nameless and faceless souls, and, you know, it doesn't matter really who we're going against. Obviously, you have to understand how a team is trying to attack you, but as long as we're, you know, honing in our own skills – making sure we're playing with great technique, making sure we're doing the right things pass rush-wise. Um, we spend a lot of time on our craft and make sure we're playing the right way and we're mentally ready. But we do also have to have that balance where we understand how a team is going to attack us, and we do watch the tape. But most of the time, we can, over, we can overcompensate for things with how we play. Gavin in our chat room just says, Coach, how, was, how has practice been this week? And then I'll add on to that the challenge of playing on a shortened week like you're having to do. Um, so our guys are prepared for anything, and, you know, Coach has mentioned that because he's always talking about guys about, you know, because guys want to play in the NFL and just imagine playing on a Sunday and having to turn back and play on a Thursday. So, you know, our guys always have the right mentality. And, um, you know, this week has been like any other week. It's been a little tricky with the schedule because of Thanksgiving and, you know, it being a short week. But our guys have been focused all week, and, you know, we're out there today in full pads, so they're ready to go. Has your room been what you would call a good practice group? To deal Abs with? 
Absolutely. That's that's one thing they know. You know, practice is everything for us. You know, if we if we don't practice well, we won't play well. So our guys have really bought into that, and we take practice very seriously. So a lot, you know, when you got Blaze and Ty and Nash and those guys leading the way and they attack the field every day in practice, you know, it feeds off to the rest of the group. Chris, this is a good one. Chris and Scott's Bluff. Coach, do you have aspirations to one day be a defensive coordinator? Honestly, I'm just I'm a firm believer in being where my feet are, and I enjoy being in the D-line room. Um, and I think Coach White and Coach, uh, Coach Rule kind of missed that. You know, when I watch them, they miss having their own position group. So for me, I just right now I want to, you know, be the best D-line coach I can be for my guys, and I love being in the locker room with those guys. I love being in the position room with those guys. So for me, just trying to be the best D-line coach I could be. Fantastic. Chris also said, he goes, Greg, can you mention it's my grandpa's birthday is 86, name's Robert. Robert, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Robert. That's fantastic. Crypto King in our chat room wants to know, who has inspired you the most in your life? My mom and my grandma and my aunt. The three most important people in my life, three women, they've raised me. Um, you know, I can call them for anything to this day. Um, I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest son. I'm her, my aunt's first, you know, nephew. I'm my grandmother's first grandchild. And I, you know, I have a special relationship with those three women in my life. And, um, I shared that with the D line and, you know, coach Rue is always talking about that too, as well as how important women are in a lot of guys' lives. So, um, yeah, shout out to my mom, my grandma, my auntie. Those are the most important people in my life. That's great. Evan Cooper next in that line. And McCooper, no, he's, he's, right? he's a little further down the list. The next person on the list is probably Mason Goldman. That's my next Mason favorite guy. Goldman. That's my guy. That's my favorite guy on the Tell team. me about Mason. He's doing great. Mason's doing great. Um, you know, he's recovering from his surgery, yep. had issues with his back. But Mason's going to be a guy, when he gets back healthy, he's going to surprise a lot of people. Start off on the old line I tell him all the time I'm a bad coach because he shouldn't have been in the old line room because he's, he's going to be a hell of a D lineman. There's another I'm, name I'm for I'm excited everybody. about him, local guy. Yeah. Super excited about him, man. And uh, shout out Mason. He's my favorite guy, so I got to make sure oh, he knows that. That's my favorite that's guy. That's great. I know this kid isn't in your room, but I'm not asking any of the other coaches, can you update us on Maverick? Because Maverick got hurt mm -hmm. in August. How's he doing? He's, he's doing great. He's walking around. He you know, has great energy. He's smiling. He's more talkative than he's been. So, like I said, when you have injured guys, especially young guys, you got to make sure they're in good spirits because at times they can fall through the cracks. But uh, we do a good job of loving those guys up, making sure they're still preparing as if they're playing. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to be a great player. And he's doing well in school, a 4.0 guy. Wow. You know what I mean? And uh, shout out to Elkhorn South tonight. I know that's yeah. just, they got a big game tonight. So, um, you know, Ashton Murphy out there, our guy. So, you know. Looking forward to seeing that. Maverick did some good things in the spring game. And I know that was the only chance really to see him publicly. He, I think he's got a chance to be a good player. Absolutely. And he had big shoes to fill. But, um, yeah. you know, he's definitely going to do it. And he has the right mindset. And he has the right toughness that we look for in young guys. And uh, he came in right away, physical guy, ready to go. Um, had his mind right. He's very serious about everything that he does. So um, Good blood you know, lines. A, Absolutely. Dad was a good player. Absolutely. A great player. Great player. And um, Bad team. Cowboys. That's a bad team. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not a big Cowboy fan, but, um, <laughs> you know, uh, but like I said, he's, you know, he's going to create his own mark here in the university and the program, and I'm excited to see what he does and how his, his career flourishes. Yeah. Danny, I love you. Uh, you're a Dallas Cowboy. I still, <laughs> I still love you. Speaking of uh, the NFL time for this week's Alumni Hall, Husker Alumni, We'll pull off a guy still playing in the National Football League, Malik Collins. Leviano goes shotgun. 30 seconds left in the half. Snap back to Leviano. Looking being rushed. Gets hit sack by Malik Collins. Malik Collins with a sack back at the 45-yard line. Malik playing for the Houston Texans this year. Who are having a pretty good football season there. Really doing some nice things. Looking for gifts for the ultimate Husker fans on your list? Your one-stop shop is Alumni Hall. Find Alumni Hall in downtown Lincoln, the South Point Pavilion, or shop online at alumnihall.com. Happy holidays and go Huskers from your friends at Alumni Hall. A lot of great texts, folks. Keep them coming. 402-413-2400. We're back with more of a coach next. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammates mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. 
Go to teammates.org to apply today. Both farmers and Division One athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperatives relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once a day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver. So the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Woodhouse Lincoln is bringing you the premium lineup of Lincoln SUVs. Plus, right now, lease a 2023 Lincoln Nautilus for $649 per month for 36 months. 7,500 miles per year. Find us in-store off 144th and Giles Road or online anytime at woodhouselincoln.com. With approved credit, tax title license extra, security deposit waived, $3,499 down, plus first payment and $299 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires 11-30-2023. See dealer for details. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Huskers fans across America's heartland. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. 
Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Maintain your herd's condition throughout the winter with Central Valley Ag's Power Cow Tubs. Register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, they are the official co-op of Husker Nation. Welcome back to our football show for the week. Terrence Knighton, we saved the best for last, our last regular season show tonight. Huskers will take on the Hawkeyes. I will get to some questions about Iowa for you before the show is over, but we're getting a lot of great texts for you. Dr. J in Kearney says, Coach, what went into your decision to go to Temple, and what did you intend to do with your criminal justice degree? Honestly, uh, at the time, it was Temple or Buffalo. Okay. And I decided to be in Philadelphia instead of upstate New York. So that went into my yeah. decision. And then uh, for criminal justice, I wanted to be a homicide detective. Uh, I wanted to come from a rough neighborhood and a big fan of First 48, and I wanted to you know, help improve my community and do those type of things or, you know, do whatever I can just to help with, you know, uh, a lot of unsolved mysteries and things like that. I was into that growing up, you know, watching TV with my grandma. So I was always into stuff like that. Being a detective, those type of things always interest me. What's it been like for you coaching in this league? And, and was the Big Ten, has it been kind of what you thought it would be? Absolutely. Physical play, uh, really good offensive lines. Smart quarterbacks that make really good decisions, um, and you you got to bring it every week. You know you 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 never know who's going to win the game. You see, you know schools like Northwestern where they're struggling for a bit, and now they're bowl eligible, right? So they just flip it around. So, you know it's a week to week league, and it reminds me of the NFL. You know uh, where you got to bring your hard hat every every week. So that's why it's so important for us to worry about going one and zero each week, and not seeing the big picture. But um. The fan bases have been amazing. The stadiums, um, everything I thought it would be, it was amazing to see. This week, Iowa it probably fits the bill. What you just said, mm -hmm. big physical offensive line. People have poked fun at their offense for not scoring, but they seem to do what they do, and they're sitting here at nine and two. Right. They they find ways to win. They find ways to win, and they understand what it's going to take for them to win. And they've been doing it for a long time. And, uh, you know, it, it's a great program who's won for a long time. But obviously, you know, it being a big rivalry and, you know, them being right over the border, you know, it's an important game for Nebraska and our fan base this week. So we're, you know, our guys, we're going to put our best product out there and they're ready to go. Rivalry game. I mean, those are kind of cool parts of college football, right. right? Having a rivalry. Absolutely. And uh, I've never been a part of one before as a player. Um, and the NFL, you know, they're fake bit. rivalries unless it's the Cowboys, Redskins, something like that. But um, Commanders. Commanders. Well, when I was playing Redskins. <laughs> but, um, I'm not used to it yet either. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to, you know, the level of physicality, you know, um, going up. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to be in the part of it. And, you know, when I got the job here, that's the first thing that people have mentioned, make sure we beat Iowa. So... It's a real thing, and I'm excited to be a part of it. The, this league is also, and it's, t it's taken a lot of us time, Terrence, to get used to it because we were in the Big 12, and now we're in the Big 10. These trophy games mean a lot to kids, and last year we won the game in Iowa, and to see our kids race across the field and go grab the trophy, then you're like, oh, okay, I think this is kind of a big deal. Right, and it's a trophy I see every day coming sitting into the, the building office. and sitting right there in the front. So, um, you know, I understand how important it is to the program, and, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a heck of a day, and, you know, it's a great holiday, and it's going to be a lot of families in town, a lot of people here to see the game, and, you know, I would, I would like to see that trophy to stay where it is, so I'm looking forward to being a part of it. Coach Ferentz at Iowa, offensive line guy. He coached offensive line in the NFL before he became Iowa's head coach, and they put a lot of guys in the league from that offensive line. What do they teach? What is their style as an offensive line? When you watch them, they're very disciplined. They work well together. They're physical in the run game. They finish plays, and we're going to have to match and exceed their physicality. And we understand it's a team that wants to run the ball. They're not going to make a lot of mistakes, so we definitely have to be the aggressor. Very, very good. 
All right, folks, Dorothy Lynch, home style, light and lean dressing, endless flavorabilities. Keep those texts coming, 402-413-2400. We need to fi get our final break in. We're back with some more thoughts from the coach coming up. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're clocking out and happy hours already started. But... You're clocking out and happy hours already started. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Pick up Bud Light at your local convenience store today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow Tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow Tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, Acres Solutions for every field. I want to ask you about Blaze Gunnerson. There's a guy that I kind of skipped over as I was going through your room a little bit. I felt so bad for Blaze the last couple of years because he just kept getting hurt, getting injured. But when he's out there, he makes things happen. Your thoughts about him? Absolutely. He's a hard-nosed guy. He gives everything he's got. Um, he practices, you know, at, at the – Top speed he can, everything he does, he just tries to be a perfectionist. And um, one of the leaders in the room, um, obviously a guy that leads by example, uh, been around here for a while and shows guys how to prepare. And I think he's a guy who's going to be a really good coach one day. And um, he's a guy at times where I'll, you know, when coaches like, hey, let the players run to me, and he's the guy. He's the guy that will get up in the front and, you know, it almost sounds like I'm doing it. So I just sit back there and let him do it. But um, he's a guy – you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him play this week, being an Iowa kid and, you know, um, understanding the rivalry. He's a guy who's definitely juiced up this week. I'm sure he will be. Jessica, a few weeks ago in our Cornhusker conversation, sat down with Cam Lenhart, and everybody calls him an old soul. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? And why, why is he called that? Because, I mean, the way he carries himself, um, he almost has a professional mindset in everything he does. He's an engineering major. He's a sharp kid. And... Um, you know, meeting Cam's mom, you understand the, why he is how he is. And, you know, she's really hard on him. And, um, you know, he just does everything the right way. He's always been a kid who's never been in trouble, 
uh, works really hard for everything that he has, and um, you know he has a hardworking mom, and you can you can tell by the way Cam is. Good. Text coming in for you, Coach. He says, please ask Coach how excited it is to be playing on Black Friday on CBS. What has your message been to the team this week? Mine would be bring the pain. Absolutely. And for us, <laughs> you know, I, I'm a guy that I'm, I'm real laid back during the week and I get juiced up a little bit before the game. But, um, you know, this being a rivalry game, you want to treat it like any other game, but we understand the magnitude of it and, you know, want those seniors to go out the right way. So um, our guys right now are doing it for those guys, and that's the mindset that we have. And, you know, talking to those young guys and understanding, like, hey, you know, doing it for a Herbic who's, you know, who's never been to a bowl game, those type of things, you know, and understand we want to send the seniors off the right way and, you know, what better way of doing it in a rivalry game. So right now it's about those guys doing it for something bigger than themselves. How cool is this, Coach, in this league? You just played primetime on NBC. Now you're playing on Black Friday on CBS. I mean, that's unbelievable. And I'm sure that's a message you take to prospective student athletes, too. Absolutely. And it's great exposure for the kids, right? Especially our seniors who want to play in the NFL. The world gets to see them play. And, you know, uh, it's obviously a good way for people to see the product that Coach Rule is building and a guy who's proven that he can build programs. And, you know, you can tell by the way our guys play, how hard they play, and uh, how much they believe in each other, how much they enjoy playing football. So, it's, you know, you get to see a prod our product on a national, you know, uh, national spotlight of how we're doing things here. Pretty cool. Uh, Bruce in Colby, Kansas says, Coach, what have you learned from Coach Rural and what will you take from, with you from that experience? Uh, there's a long list of things. Um, for me, it's about, you know, putting the players first, everything I do. Uh, it's about the players and um, whether I have to be here till midnight because a player needs me or I have to be up at 4 a.m. because a player needs me. It's all about the players. And we're a player-first program. And, um, you know, that's, that's something I make sure, you know, I take to heart. And my, my ringer's always on when the players need me, whether they need an Uber, whether they need a meal at night. It's all about the players. And that's one thing that, you know, I follow in Coach Rule footsteps about how he puts, you know, the players before himself. Down that same path, as I mentioned at the top of the show, recruiting opens back up here in a week, and you guys are going to scatter and go out and do the do your thing in recruiting. How much do you try to stay in touch with these guys while you're off campus? Well, I think our our, our guys do a good job of understanding, you know, what it what we have to do to make sure the program is where we want to be, and they do a great job of hosting kids, and when they see kids on visits and those type of things, they do a great job with them. So, you know, it's all about the program. It's all about winning. So. For us, you know, we're going out and making sure we find guys that are our type of guys. And we want to we wanna bring in guys that want to be here. We don't chase stars. We don't chase, you know, highlight tape, those type of things. We, there's a certain type of individual that has to be in the locker room with those guys. And uh, we make sure we're looking for the right type of guys. Fantastic. We did save the best for last. You've been Absolutely. fantastic. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope you get some of Mom's mac and cheese, and mm -hmm. let's go win a game on Friday. Absolutely. Right? That's what it's about. Perfect. Good to see you, Terrence. My special shout-out. Yes. Special shout-out to women's volleyball and women's soccer. They're doing a great job, Amazing. and we're watching. Keep it going. Go Big Red. Fantastic. Both teams are having special years. Absolutely. It's kind of cool. Thanks, Terrence. Thanks. Coach Knighton with us here on our football show. Woodhouse Auto Family, your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. And then our hour sports highlight coming up, including a conversation with women's basketball coach Amy Williams. That is on the other side. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. There are a lot of rates out there, and it can be tough to find the right one. Well, let's make it easy. With FNBO's special offer CD of 5.5% APY for three or seven months, you can earn more, save more, and do more. That's 5.5% annual percentage yield for three or seven months with a minimum deposit of $500 and an FNBO Premier Checking Account. 
give your savings a great big boost with the Great Big Small Bank. FNBO, member FDIC. Shop Woodhouse Mazda during the season of inspiration happening now and explore our exceptional lineup. Take advantage of our current offers happening now, like 3.9% APR for 72 months and $2,000 off MSRP on all 2024 Mazda CX-90 preferred plus models. Plus, current Mazda CX-9 owners will receive an additional $1,500 off MSRP. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra. When financed with Mazda Financial Services, $299 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires 11-30-2023. See dealer for details. Life doesn't come with guarantees, but working with Rob Seco comes pretty close. Our strategic investments in the seed we offer are designed to directly improve your bottom line. From full trade platforms, breeding and development, to field-by-field -field planning and seed-driven crop inputs, with Rob Seco, you have precisely what you need to improve plant performance and increase yield. Every farm, every crop, and every acre. Learn more at robseco.com.
Good evening. I'm Henry Goodwin, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, defensive coordinator Tony White met with the media ahead of Senior Day this Friday. Coach White was asked about the seniors playing in their last home game. Here's what the coach had to say. That's big time ball. Like I told those guys in the early in the week, you know, we, all of us old players who are coaches, we remember that last home game, you know, right? and I spat out my last home game. I remember like it was yesterday. You know what I mean? And so anytime you made it this far and, and you got one more guaranteed chance to go out there and do it, you know, why not? And again, this is, this is crazy, but the whole season coach rule was always like, if this was your last game and you knew this was going to be the outcome of it, how would you go back and prepare? You know, how would you go back and practice? How would you go back and watch film? How would you go back knowing that this was going to be your last? He was saying that back in fall camp. And now, you know, this is that opportunity, right? Like it, this could be the last one. So all that all that constant reinforcement is like, yo, like we've been here, we've been here, like we we're ready, like let's go, let's 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 make uh, use of the moment, you know. You'll hear more from Coach White and Coach Satterfield later this hour. Three Big Ten men ba men's basketball games are going on tonight. Maryland is up 57-24 against UMBC. Uh, number seven Tennessee at number two Purdue is underway. In Arkansas, Pine Bluff at Minnesota tips off at eight. About an hour ago, the College Football Playoff Committee announced their Week 12 Top 25 rankings. Not much changed in the Top 10, but Washington took Florida State's number four spot, kicking FSU down to the number five spot. Big 10 teams in the Top 25 include Ohio State at two, Michigan at three, Penn State at 11, and Iowa at 17. Our sports sticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. If you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness, if so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now, get ready for Hour 2 of Sports Nightly, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Chubba gets the shotgun snap, looking to throw. Bean Blitz rolls away from the pressure. Looking upfield, he's going to take off and run. He's got a first down to midfield. 45, Chubba to the 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Nebraska. Three, Ken Murray sends the line drive serve to Harper, her younger sister. Perfect pass. Harper gets it back. A boom. Wow. Gravity is a mere annoyance to Harper Murray, 17-14 Huskers. Takes a handoff, back to throw, step throws downfield, taking a deep shot down the field, and the ball's intercepted, picked off by Tommy Hill. That's an INT, he's at the 15 to the 20, breaks a tackle, skirts to the outside, 25, makes an man miss, slides his way to the 28-yard line. Served by Laney, bad pass, and that's an ice! They did it! Conference champions all by themselves and the players dogpile. Oh, look at that emotion released. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cooty on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are back in the 7 o'clock hour. I know it's kind of wacky, but we're, we're doing a full two hours again tonight, right? I just, I have not been able to function. I'm like the, the last however many weeks we haven't had full shows and Back-to-back -back nights of having two hours here on the network, I'm like, I just, oh, I've kind of forgot, like, oh, I got to drive in here. What time do I got to be here? But, no, it's fun. And yeah. how great was Terrence Knighton? That was fantastic. I kiddingly said, save the best for last. I think we did. Well, I saw him earlier today. I was interviewing Nuri for the Cornhusker Conversation, and I said, oh, you're on the show tonight. He goes, uh, give the people what they want. And I know he said it on the air, but yes, I mean, that was great. I'm, the defensive line have, has been fantastic this year, and they've been arguably, you could argue they've been the MVP's position group, right? I agree. I yeah. mean, ha, so, and just a huge credit to the coaching that he's done and, and Tony White, the position that he puts them in. But we just went into the season, we've said this several times, of not necessarily that, hey, this is not going to be, this is going to be the weak link, but just not knowing what they had because they had so many young players that you don't know how they're going to play at this level and the first time, the true freshmen. 
But that is a credit to the development. And it seems like every week there's somebody new that pops up and makes a big play. And so, again, it's, it's not just getting them ready to play at the beginning of the season, but also continuing to develop throughout the season as well. Well, how about the big announcement today? Ty Robinson getting in front of the media and saying, I'm going to use my COVID year. I'm coming back. That's, that's incredible. And I just I didn't expect that. I think we were all sitting here. Well, we're going to lose Ty Robinson, but you felt like there's some young guys that could fill his role. But then having him back, I mean, you're essentially getting almost everybody back. None of them are gone. And right? so unless, I mean. Nash, I guess, could go. I don't think he will. No, I don't think he will either. So there aren't any seniors in that group. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's a young group. That's, And I think that goes back to what the question marks at the beginning of the season wasn't so much do they have the talent? It's, is the talent going to be ready to play? And so, because it was, it was a young group, and but you thought for sure Ty would be one that you'd lose, and now here he's coming back, and he has shown at times how much he can dominate football games. There's been a few games that it's just, and Tony White said it, I think it was last week that he was the best player on the field, or one of the best players on the field, and so when it's clicking for Ty, he, there's no doubt, but I think that's where, depending on where the grade is, and, and where maybe he's projected to go in the draft and we've seen it from players that go and then probably regret going and giving yourself another year and especially in the system where he is kind of it fits him and he's really growing and hey here's another year to really show how dominant you can be and then maybe you do improve that but you can't get it back no. that's that's what's also a little bit I love about and you and I have talked so much about this about basketball and the NBA you can you can declare what Casey did you know and and talk it through and get a little bit more I guess clear evaluations as to where you might stand if you want to go declare to be a pro but um, you know if 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 it's not worth it you certainly don't want to take that chance because then then what then you're not you're kind of getting cut and going on the practice squad and and it's it's not a lifestyle that you probably want to live, but here you are. Give yourself another opportunity to really improve that stock and that grade. And good kudos for Ty for making this kind of decision where there's no, there's no way he didn't think it through and get all the information needed. But great for him to, to not just say, you know what, I'm going to take, roll the dice and take the chances and see if I, between pro day and combine, I can make myself some money. But, you know, he's like, no, I'm going to take the – the sure bet here and come back and, and see if I can get myself in a better spot. Terrence told us off air, he said, had Ty gone, he goes, he would have tested through the roof, which the scouts yes. wouldn't know. Yeah. And he goes, his stock would have really gone up. But he goes, we're not complaining. We're going to take him and go. And he kind of wonder, think, take a guy like Garrett Nelson, yeah. Jessica, how much heartburn do you think he has about the decision he made 12 months ago? I don't know, unless, you know, some of the guys that have been around and played so much football that it's like, you know, I just... I'm ready for It's college. not so much about maybe going to the NFL, more so about I'm ready for the next chapter. Yeah, yeah. And But I think for Ty, it's just, you know, Garrett had been around and played so much football, but I think for Ty, he just kind of really started scratching the surface of what he could be at the end of last year. And he came in with, you know, such high expectations and, and a lot of people thought that how big he could be. And, and so I just, I think he just started really getting a feel and things settling down, but then just being one year in this defense. And so I just, I think for him, probably it was less about, okay, I'm ready to be done with this phase and more so like, okay, how can I set myself up better? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what his thought process was, but certainly there are guys that have gone through here that have, and not just here, but even throughout my career at Oklahoma, too, that guys have declared and gone, and then they come back, and then they talk to guys about, hey, I made a mistake. I, I, I did not make the right decision, and you do not want to rush this because you can't. You can't get it back. And so I think that's where probably, too, if, if Ty's, I mean, um, gosh, who was the defensive lineman a couple years ago? Damian uh, Daniels. Yeah, Damian Daniels yeah. probably and, might be one. And Ty was here. Yes. So he saw Damien yeah. leave and then not make it. Yeah. So I just, I think that too, uh, having guys that maybe go on and, and then come back and say, hey, and I don't know if Damien feels that way, but I know for a fact there's a guy that at Oklahoma defensive back that came back and told those defensive backs, hey, do not make this decision if this is this, this and this and really talk them through it. He said, I made the wrong decision. And so, you know, I, I definitely think every year that's how it is. That every year, not necessarily here, but every year across the country, you've got guys that declare that go, that regret making that decision. And so, you know, good for Ty for, for not 
chancing it and saying, hey, I'm coming back and, and let me uh, have another year at it. Well, as Terrence says, it's like getting a five star guy today. Yeah. Going, whew, five star guy that's already proven he can dominate games at this, this level. So that was huge news today. Henry told, mentioned it in the ticker. The latest college football playoff uh, rankings are out. We're getting close to where these are going to be the final ones. And the switch this week was Washington jumping Florida State. They're both undefeated. But Washington got another big win on the road at Oregon State. It's hard to argue with their resume. It's good. Yeah. I mean, in, you even said it a couple weeks ago. They should have been in the four. Four then. And then now they've only added, a, you know, two more wins and a big one over someone. How did you pick that game? Did I picked pick it right. Them? I picked Washington. I didn't. Yeah. But so, but here they are coming. They got a win over a team that's in the college football rankings. Yeah. And, and Oregon State dropped five, I think that's what it said. So I think they're like 16. So they were 11, 12. You beat them on their field. Yeah. So to go on the road, Washington deserved to move up. There's no doubt about it. All right. We will not. Sadly, be here tomorrow night. We have men's basketball. The 5-0 and Huskers against Duquesne tomorrow night. We had Coach Hoiberg on the show last night, and he said, without a doubt, this is the best team Nebraska has played to date, better than Oregon State. So it'll be a challenge tomorrow night. But, boy, I really like how that team is playing right now. They really are. And they're, they've won different ways, right? In every single game, they've had a different leading scorer. And... The offense hasn't always been there, but they've won it on the defensive end. The last game, the offense was there. And so I think you've, you've seen that this team can be a prolific scoring team. But then also, hey, if it's not going right, they're going to stay locked in on the defensive end. And so, and that's, that's again, that goes back to even what was established last year and, and the buy-in for that. And even as Coach Hoiberger said, a lot of times it's not easy to do when the shots aren't falling, but they've stayed bought in and locked into that. I did hear him, him tell you about the um, the guard play for Duquesne, the older guards. That's yeah. always a danger. It's always right. you know how many times that we had that conversation about teams that make runs in the NCAA tournaments. Good guards. Good guards and older guards are a problem sometimes. So yeah, this will be this will be a great matchup, and so I, I'm I'm excited to see this team if they can go six and zero. When's the last time they were six and zero to start a season? I don't have my notes. It's in the game notes, but they're they're over there. <laughs> Coach said last night, he also said at the press conference, his toughest job right now is deciding how to rotate the guys. Yeah. To me, though, too, I think you've seen different matchups look good against different teams. And so there are different teams, different makes, makeup of teams that maybe if you've got a smaller matchup or maybe you need a bit more defensive type team, maybe you need a more offensive type lineup and maybe you need a more offensive type lineup – I think he can mix and match those lineups as he goes. But right now, while they are playing teams that they have a handle on, yes, I, but I think he's got different kinds of looks that he can throw at people that, depending on the situation and what's needed, I mean, I brought this up the other night about at the end of the half, it was, hey, he was subbing in offense for defense and, you know, hey, let's go get a score. Hey, let's go get a stop. And so sometimes you have your defensive lineup out there. Sometimes you have your offensive lineup. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, players that absolutely deserve to be on the floor that he the, the minutes are just limited so how do you go about that and and you got to make the most of them out there there's no doubt about it folks pioneers proud to partner with iowa and nebraska in the pioneer heroes game this black friday honoring local heroes who positively impacted their community and stand as an inspiration to others pioneer proudly celebrating our local communities congratulations to nebraska's hero this year josh Hicks. He's got an amazing story and well deserved of that honor. When we come back, a practice report. We'll hear from both coordinators, Tony White and Marcus Satterfield, as they get ready for the Huskers' final regular season game of the year against the Iowa Hawkeyes. We'll have those comments for you coming up next. Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. 
From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online, anytime, from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every year, every season presents a new opportunity. That is nothing new. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, embrace new opportunities. They focus on their roots and continue to stand strong with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative relies on their value of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. When you choose Aurora Cooperative, you're choosing a winning team that's dedicated to the success of our local farmers. Go Big Red and go Aurora Cooperative. In 1923, Bert R. Benjamin had a vision, an all-purpose tractor that could do more. With that, the Farmall was born. This year, Case IH is celebrating 100 years of Farmall, 100 years of milestones, 100 years of innovation, passion, grit. And they're doing it through your stories. Share them at farmall100.com. One lucky storyteller will win their own Farmall, the tractor that is the one for all. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, Chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Hey Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one-year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 Initiative now represents 150 Husker student-athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student-athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890Nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. 
They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network broadcast studio brought to you by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, Acres Solutions for every field. Great job, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. And Terrence Knight was awesome last hour. Now we're going to get you into a little practice report with some comments from both coordinators. <laughs> The 1890 Initiative presents the Nebraska Football Practice Report. We're talking about practice. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. We will start with Marcus Satterfield, who um, was asked about Chubba's performance Saturday night and then was asked, do you look at Chubba any differently now that you've seen him play a game like that on Saturday? Uh, I didn't know what to totally expect. You know, when I got here, he was he was you know coming off an injury, didn't really get to go in spring. It was through the summer, uh, you know, he he competed and battled, kept you know kind of you know re-injuring and tweaking, tweaking uh, his deal. So I never got to see him just go and get a bunch of reps in a row. And so uh, it was it was fun to watch. I, I don't want to say I'm surprised. I know I mean I've watched tape on him. I've I've watched him for years now. You know being at other places when he was transferring. So I knew he, he had it in him. It was just, it was good to see him do it, get out there and do it. And he worked. I mean, he had an unbelievable, told the offense on Sunday, like he did had an unbelievable week last week of preparation and he's continuing it this week. But I mean, he's in there with us all day. And uh, that's the reason I think that he played really well and knew to get, where to go with the football. And, you know, he's able to be confident when he went into the game just because of his preparation and has continued into this week. I, I think I'm kind of with him. I didn't know what to expect from Chubba either. As good as he played in that drive, but boy, that first, and again, I, I mentioned that I talked to Nuri today. I said, what went into the fast start? And he said, Chubba. Chubba did. I mean, and then the way that he took off on that run, but just the way that he managed things, it just, I don't know if anybody expected quite that from him, but I mean, kudos to him for coming out, having the confidence and just the way that he ran things. I was really, really impressed with, with how he especially came out of the gate with this team when he could have very, very much been nervous and had been nervy, but kudos to him. Good job. All right, Iowa, this will be a heck of a challenge Friday for the Husker offense. This is a, a great defense that Iowa has. Here's Coach Satterfield talking about the challenge of Iowa. Grown men, it's uh, it's... I equate it to like church league. Like you have the the, little, the high school boys that are really good basketball players that go play in the church league gym. These old men with goggles and knee braces, they, they think they're going to run them off the court and they look up and the old men have just physically, emotionally, spiritually, competitively just destroyed them in the you know in a 30 minute game. So they're just some guys that just, they're sound, they're physical, they're disciplined. Uh, they play like their coach's mindset. Uh, it's just very impressive to watch. Very, very impressive to watch. I laughed out loud when I heard that because my brother is one of those old men that go and just like ball out on people that think they're, you know, going to go up to the gym and show up these old men. But, it, but that's kind of what Iowa continues to be. They still, they have like the development process where it's like how many times or how many years has this guy been playing, you know? Yeah. And then they do, they just kind of, they're, they're massive. They lock in, they do things right. And, and the mental part of it, they, they know that that's what they do. That's what I, Iowa wins because of them the, on the defensive side of the ball. But I thought that was a great reference. That was hilarious. They just, they just know what they yeah. are. All right. It is senior day on Friday. Coach Satterfield was asked what this senior class has meant to him. Uh, just tough, you know, uh, gutty. I, I think, you know, the things that they've had to endure and go through and, and stick it out and do it with such a great attitude and willfulness to just give whatever they need for success at, whatever that success might be. Uh, you know, the gratitude they have for this university, for this football program is unbelievable to watch day in and day out. And, you know, the one thing that I really uh, appreciate offensively, defensively, all the, kid, all the young men is just 
uh, the trust, like the blind trust that they gave us when we came in, and just c continuing to build that trust with each other as we go forth, go forward. But just it's a special group. I mean, coach says it all the time. Like this is the most fun I've ever had coaching. I mean, these these guys are awesome to come to work with every day. You know, I've talked about it just how important this group has been to establishing the culture and what this program wants to do moving forward, no matter what happens with this season in particular, is just so critical for those guys to buy in and to help establish the culture and what this coaching staff wanted to do. And there is no doubt about it. They have been all bought in from the start and have helped because they want to, they believe in it. I mean, I've talked to Nuri, I think it was like after week three or four, he goes, I don't even care. I mean, he's like, I care, but I don't even care what happens the rest of the season. There's no doubt that this program's heading in the right direction. So they've bought in and they've wanted to help do whatever they can to help establish. It, I think, you know, years down the road, you might look back and think how critical this group was to what this coaching staff wants to do here. Anybody who takes over a job will say that that first year and getting the older guys to buy in is the biggest challenge you have. And this group did. And that's a credit, I think, to the staff, obviously, but I think to the players, too, that they were able to jump in there and and do that. All right, let's switch to defense. Uh, Coach White, uh, everybody pokes fun at Iowa's offense, can't score, can't move the football. Coach White was not going to go down that path as he described the challenge of Iowa. If, if you talk about a, a, a team that's just, they, I mean, they are so resilient. They, they, are, they know who they are. I mean, think about it, right? The offensive coordinator and all that stuff happens, and they, uh, the quarterback you know, change and then the, the, the tight ends going down and guys getting hurt and they are still performing at that kind of level. So you have, first of all, you got mad respect for, for what they do and, and how those guys operate over there. And then that's, that's a place that, that um, they know who they are. You know, and, and their tight ends are a huge part of their of their offense. They got so many personnel groupings, and they use them all different kind of ways: run game, pass game. They throw tight end screens to them. You know what I mean? So, um, it's a it's a it's a challenge. It's a it's actually kind of cool when you when an offense does that to you. You have to you have to make sure you have all the answers. You know, so they keep you on your toes. All right, Coach White's name, unfortunately, is starting to pop up on radar screens for some open jobs. San Diego State, which he's got a connection to that program. His, job, his name's on a short list at Syracuse, which is where he came to Nebraska from. He was asked about, is this kind of a distraction? Is it a, well, how do you approach having your name being thrown out there? Any, any, anything, anything like that is a reflection of the young men playing and the other coaches and the work that they, they put in. You know I mean? I just, I mean, I, I, I just have to, I, you know, that's, uh, the way I take that, that, that has nothing to do with me. It's all those guys running around making, I didn't make one tackle this year. I didn't make, you know, one sack this year. Those young men perform, you know, and those assistant coaches got them in a position to perform. And so, um, yeah, I mean, you, you work to be in a position like that. But I, I, I say this all the time, you know, you, you, you handle that after the season. Hey, your name ain't going to be up there if you give up 300 yards rushing and lose this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Uh, it's 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 cool and all, but it's cool because Nebraska gets recognized and Coach Rule taking a chance on me gets recognized and the young men playing get recognized. Like that's cool, you know. Anything good with me is an automatic good for Nebraska, good for the players. So that that's the way I take that. That right there is exactly why he's head coach material. Oh. How he answered that and everybody else gets the credit. I mean, it's he he just is that CEO type. The way that he manages and and. He doesn't change. I mean, Coach Will hit the nail on the head the other day. No matter what the situation is, he is who he is. And he, is, he will be a fantastic head coach. Whatever, whenever that opportunity comes, whether it's after this season or later on, and he has the luxury to be able to be selective too. So, um, you know, whenever that day comes, he will be a fantastic head coach. He got asked several questions about it. He said, you know, how, how beneficial is it have a guy like Coach Rowe in your corner? He says, I've never had somebody speak on my behalf like that. He goes, it's incredible. So... Uh, yeah, he, you and I are big, big Tony White fans. We just are. And I want the best for him. Yes, I, I do too. And I, I hope he gets that opportunity. That's what Coach Rule said. Yep. You want him to move on and, and have those opportunities. And it's a credit to this program. But, yeah, no, no doubt about it. He is a head coach in waiting. It's just a matter of when, not uh, that's the biggest right. thing. Yeah. Our Woodhouse Auto family, they are your trusted auto partner with 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms, visit us online at Woodhouse.
Com. When we come back, Jesse is going to sit down and talk some Husker basketball with head coach Amy Williams. That's coming up next. Everybody wants a classic Christmas. Well, there's nothing more classic than cash. So until January 3rd, 2024, enter non-winning Nebraska Lottery Holiday Classic scratch tickets online, and you could win $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, or $20,000. Hurry and jingle all the way to your nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer and have yourself a classic little Christmas with the whole family of Holiday Classic scratch tickets. Top prize odds vary by game. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. The Polar Bear. Nebraska defensive lineman Nash Huffmaker knows who to call when your house is cold enough for hibernation. SOS to the rescue! Nebraska defensive lineman Nash Huffmaker here. 
People know me as the polar bear. Don't be like me in the winter and call SOS. Their texts don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than the competition. Guaranteed. Mention the polar bear and get a free 10 year labor warranty. Best warranty in town. SOS to the rescue. 402 391 2336. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get a new 2023 Ford F-150 with 2.9% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hi, I'm a volleyball. It's an okay life. I go back and forth about it. But I really wish I was a Nebraska Lottery Powerball or Mega Millions Mega Ball. See, all they have to do is mix around in a big plastic bubble and roll down a ramp, and then people win millions. What a great life. As for me, I get thrown around all day and have to worry about getting spiked, which is about to happen right now. Oh, ow! Couldn't you just do a nice, gentle tip? The Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds vary by game. Welcome back into our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cootie, and it is time for our Nebraska women's basketball check-in with head coach Amy Williams. The season is off and running, and so we're going to start having weekly check-ins or about every other weekly check-ins with you, and so we appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, it's great to be here, Jess. Thanks for having me. All right, well, uh, let's talk about Creighton fresh off uh, the, the Creighton game on Sunday. And you had said in your post game, not off ideal start, but uh, found some way to fight and, and had a chance to win it there at the end. But as you reviewed the film, what were kind of the big takeaways? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we, we said that the biggest keys for uh, that game was we were going to need to be the tougher team. We needed to get off to a great start and we needed to make shots. And I thought... Um, there were times throughout that 40-minute game that our team showed great toughness and, and um, fought and scratched and clawed. Um, but we didn't get off to a great start, um, particularly defensively. And we also, um, we also didn't make the shots that we need to make. And, and so that's something that we know we're going to have to be able to, to spread the floor. I thought um, Alexis Markowski had a tremendous game. I thought she showed just, you know, um, great fight and determination inside she established a huge presence in the paint for us but we're going to need to really complement that by mixing in some perimeter um, threats and and we just uh, we didn't do that we didn't hit enough shots i felt like from the outside to to, uh, to get over the hump and and find a way to take the lead yeah, i mean you guys are a good three-point shooting team and didn't shoot it as well as as you can is that just a product of a guys being hurt in and out and then just maybe at the beginning of the year how do you i guess fix that and is it, it's not really a concern i guess of, of you guys uh, right here in the early goings yeah i mean it is kind of early in the season to make that like a huge concern i think we've seen this team really shoot it particularly well in practice and we we um are watching um our kids get in the gym extra outside of practice they're putting in a lot of time and and in my experience you know when you have players that are willing to get in the gym and really um, uh, put in time getting game rep shots that uh, eventually that seal will kind of break and and um, hopefully the floodgates will will open up a little bit and we'll start to shoot the ball the way we know we can um, it's been a little unique uh, early this season with just um, quite a few kind of in and out of the lineup with with injuries and so that's not ideal when you have a lot of players that are you know playing their fourth game in a Husker uniform and you're going up against a ranked opponent right right off the bat and and so um, obviously we'd we'd love to we'd love to have everybody healthy and and all the experience you know in the lineup just um, in rhythm uh, but uh, I think we're learning how to overcome some challenges. We're, we're leaning on some people to step up and, and contribute, and I think that'll help us in the long run. How is it, you know, I know you have the, you have the overseas trip and the off season, but how is it to just starting the season with, you, you do have a lot of returners, but then you also are working in a lot of newcomers, just how you work 
that group together and kind of fill each other out and that chemistry and all of that. How much is that a, a work in progress, especially at the beginning of a season? Yeah, I mean, that's always a challenge at the beginning of a season and trying to, you know, give your newcomers um, a chance to kind of find their own and find their role with the group. But um, it's been a really kind of unique uh, challenge for us in the sense that, you know, one day I might be telling, you know, Kendall Coley, hey, you're going to take all your reps at the wing today. And then the next day we have an injury and this kid goes out and it shifts this. And now all of a sudden, okay, you're going to be taking all your reps at the post, you know, or at the four position today. And, um, you know, we've had lots of players that have had to bounce around. Callan Hake in particular, um, when Allison Widener went down with injury, it's completely shifted um, what she was um, working and training for all summer, um, Greece trip, everything. Now all of a sudden it flips and she's having to play some, some of her minutes, a substantial amount of her minutes at the point position and, and kind of change her role substantially. And, and, you know, so it takes some time for, for those adjustments to be made. And, and so I'd say, you know, we're not quite in, um, mid-season form yet, but we're still learning and, and seeing a lot of things that we really like that we think we can piece together to um, to really be ready for Big Ten play. Yeah, so through the first four games of the season, what have you liked most about this group? What are the areas that you feel like you guys got to really tackle and improve on? Yeah, I think that I've liked most that um, we have not just completely settled for the three-point shot and um, I think at Wyoming and and again against Creighton uh, we we really uh, dominated with points in the paint and um, we didn't shoot the ball very well in either one of those games so that's something we definitely want to be able to focus and get better at we need to have uh, multiple threats that can give us point production from behind the arc and uh, we need some pr productivity from there but uh, the fact that we've been able to go and and really make an emphasis of scoring points in the paint has um, has been something that's been a real bright spot and that we're really excited about so far this year and I think defensively even though um, that first quarter yesterday uh, against Creighton we gave up um, 28 points and eight made three-point shots and you know just kind of um, but after that I thought we kind of settled in and really um, played much better team defense and um, so far this year I think you know we've seen pretty good quarters defensively we've been really pleased with what we're seeing with just our intensity we've got a few things to clean up on the defensive side of things and uh, continuing to finish defensive possessions with box outs but um, for the most part I'm, I'm excited about how good this team's defense can be. Well, we haven't had a chance to talk to you since signing day, and you brought in quite the trio. Tell us about your, your new Huskers. Yeah, yes, I'm um, really excited. I think the future is bright for Nebraska women's basketball. Um, you know, we've, we've got, you know, our out-of-state signing is uh, Amaya Hargrove, and we're, we're just so excited about um, what she brings into the table. She's versatile. She's strong. She's athletic. She can do a lot of things inside, outside player. Um, just scored her 2,000th career high school point the other day and has an entire uh, senior season still in front of her. So just a very um, prolific high school scorer. Um, then um, Britt Prince is, is, you know, just special. She's just very special. She just um, ha is the total package um, that you are looking for and, and talent, you know, a player that can really score from all three levels, has incredible IQ, makes everybody on the court around her better, um, athletic enough and long enough to be a great defender, and um, has tremendous character, is a great teammate, and does all the things right. So um, just the total package there. And then to be able to add to that, um, uh, my daughter Kennedy, I'm very excited about that. I think just a great day for our family when she's able to make it official that she's going to be able to put that Husker uniform on in, in both softball and basketball. It's a pretty special day for her. All right, let's talk about this weekend coming up for the next couple of games. Thanksgiving against Lamar and then Saturday against TCU. First of all, hitting the road again. What are you looking for out of your team in this road trip? Yeah, I think that we just need to keep getting better. I think, um, you know, in our last two ball games, we gave up 14 and 13 offensive rebounds 
um, and that's not going to equate well for us. So um, something we will really be focusing on is just finishing defensive possessions with box outs, staying disciplined, finding ways to continue to get better, um, uh, hopefully go down to St. Pete's and knock down some perimeter shots to kind of add to um, our scoring threat. But uh, we want to just keep getting better each and every day and, and um, come home with a couple wins. And TCU in particular, they've got a new team, new coach. What's that matchup look like? And, and you and I were, were chatting earlier about, you know, just the different kind of matchups you have in the non-conference. How much of a challenge is that? But also how good is it to have different looks of different teams and different caliber teams? Yeah, I mean, I think it's outstanding. It's the reason why we, um, we kind of... Um, navigate our non-conference schedule the way that we do and, and try to piece things together is to pose some different challenges to us. And I think, you know, Creighton um, was a game where everybody's going to have to guard everybody. You're going to have to be able to play on the perimeter. Guards are going to have to play post defense. Posts are going to have to play perimeter defense. Uh, and then all of a sudden, less than a week later, um, you're playing in a game where you've got a 6-7 post player in Sedona Prince that is dominant, had 33 points in her last ball game. You know, it's going to take a team effort trying to, you know, take away that low post presence from a 6-7 dominant post. And so um, we get a couple of different challenges all within one week of each other, but all of which are going to help prepare us for uh, the different challenges we will face when we get into Big Ten play. All right, Thanksgiving. You guys going to have a Thanksgiving team dinner? Oh, yeah. Yep. Amanda uh, Hart, our director of basketball operations, first of all, is an absolute rock yeah. star. And um, she's making sure that we get the traditional Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> while we're down at St. Pete's. And, and um, we're all really looking forward to that. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I like um, my, my mother-in-law's homemade dressing. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can't let you get out of here without asking you about um, Coach Walker and the soccer team. You've been so supportive of them. Oh. And then the volleyball team wins a Big Ten title. Just how special has it been to, for you to watch that? Oh, I can't even put into words how excited um, we are just to watch all the success that um, our fall sports are having and, and particularly the women's sports right now are just um, thriving, you know, and, and um, just watching soccer advancing in the NCAA tournament. That is just um, incredible, just incredible every time. And to, to advance to an Elite Eight with a 4-0 kind of dominant uh, victory, just, um, just really, really fun, but not surprising. Um, Coach Walker is a great leader. He's been awesome. He's reached out to me through some of the ups and downs that you know we've faced. There's just really a camaraderie, I feel like, amongst the coaches um, in this athletic department. So I couldn't be more happy to see the success he's having. And then uh, for Coach Cook and, and Maggie to, to win a Big Ten title, um, just so special for us um, to, to watch you know, our neighbors that we you know, were under the same roof you know our our players room with a lot of volleyball players and um, they just are best friends and they just you know really support each other but you know I just am a, a firm believer that um, that winning kind of rubs off that winning mentality and and so for us you know it's really encouraging to watch all these um, championships and and winning um, programs because that's something we expect for our program as well great stuff Thanks for chatting with us, and best of luck this week. Thanks so much, Jess. And yeah, that is Amy Williams here on Sports Nightly, head coach of Nebraska Women's Basketball. We'll look forward to chatting with her soon as the season rolls on. All right, we've got to step aside for a break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get a new 2023 Ford F-150 with 2.9% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic.
Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show Hair Grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using Hair Grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try Hair Grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with Hair Grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's room at the table. Central Valley Ag works with farmers and ranchers to deliver the protein and minerals to ensure their herds are at optimal performance. Winter is coming. CVA's Power Cow tubs help your herd stay strong and healthy through the toughest season. For a limited time, register to win two 250-pound CVA Power Cow tubs when you visit cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. If problem, ga problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment, just help. Visit lifeafterbet.com. Well, it has been hustling and bustling around the stadium here over the last couple of days with the state high school football championships. Currently, the Class A state title game taking place in Westside just took a 21 to nothing lead over Elkhorn South. So Westside looking to go back to back our Friend and uh, co-worker here on the Huskers Radio Network, Damon Benning, helping coach Westside. It's Cole just gave out a woo. So uh, Damon and Caleb looking to make it back to back and go. But yeah, looking good for Westside right now, up 21 to nothing. I did want to take a moment and just give a shout out. I think it's just been so great and just warms my heart how supportive so many coaches and players have been really over the last several weeks of the Nebraska soccer team, Nebraska volleyball team, but coming off uh, the Nebraska soccer team advancing to the Elite Eight. And you just heard Amy Williams just really giving a shout out and how special it has been to watch uh, Coach Walker and, and take this program back deep into a postseason run. We've heard Coach Hoiberg mention it, Coach Rule, and then Terrence Knight. And he, he wanted to make sure, he said it in, in the commercial break, you got to give me time to give a shout out to Husker soccer and Husker volleyball. So it's just been really special to see the camaraderie around here over these uh, last few weeks of how much they, they've supported the, the women's soccer team and the women's volleyball team going to the Elite Eight and, and now Nebraska volleyball winning the Big Ten title. Husker soccer again will play in the Elite Eight coming up on Friday against Stanford, 4 o'clock. And they will, uh, Stanford has three-time national champion. They last won it in 2019, but have won two of the last six. So tough matchup there, but hey, they've got it rolling. Eleanor Dale will finish. I, I did some research over the last couple of minutes. Eleanor Dell will finish the season as the NCAA's leading scorer. At least, at very least, 28 goals. The second leading scorer has got 26 tech at Texas. They are out. They're done. So Eleanor Dell should have a very good path to winning NCAA, the National Soccer Player of the Year. So again, this big thing's happening around here and uh, it's so exciting to be a part of. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us here on Sports Nightly these last couple of hours. We will not have a show tomorrow, but we will be back on Thursday for an hour. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Thanks to Cole and Henry and, and Greg, and we will be back again on Thursday. Have a great one, Husker Nation.
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. There's no community like a Cenex community, and that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Elevate your driving experience at Woodhouse Buick GMC. Receive up to $2,250 off MSRP on the 2023 Buick Envision Preferred. Or shop the 2023 Buick Enclave Avenir and save up to $3,000 off MSRP. Shop our current inventory online anytime at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade.